So this is pretty much the perfect item to open today's video with because thrifting is an adventure. Hey everyone, it's Jessica and welcome back to another thrifting video. If you happen to be new here, I share videos like this on my channel every week. I also will share with you what I ended up purchasing today at the end of the video. So definitely keep on watching if you want to see what I got today. And as always, let me know what your favorite item was on today's thrifting trip. I always enjoy reading everybody's answers down in the comments section. Right now, I'm just browsing the dishware. I'm not really looking for anything in particular. I just wanted to share with you some of the interesting pieces that I saw. In case you happen to be new here, I'm not looking for items to resell. I thrift mainly for home decor in my home. Also furniture, gifts, and things that my friends or family could use or need. I find thrift shopping very relaxing and exciting all at the same time because you never know what you're gonna find. I thought this picnic table condiment caddy was a really awesome little piece, so I thought I would share it with you guys. And it was a pretty good deal at only $6. So now I'm going to check the home decor and knickknack section to see if I can spot anything that I like. I definitely don't need any knickknacks, but they are still fun to look at. I'm pretty picky when it comes to things like this, so I really have to love something if I'm going to actually bring it home. So the first item that caught my attention right away on this shelf was this little kitty cat bank. It was vintage and I loved the pattern on the outside of it. It was really pretty and this will be the perfect item for any cat collector. And if you happen to be a swan collector, I noticed this really pretty iridescent swan piece. It was $3.29. I love anything iridescent so I thought it was beautiful. So about a year ago, I actually found one of these in Goodwill for $3.99 and it was exactly the same as this one. I'll try to link that video down below in the description in case you want to check that one out. So as I was looking at the shelves, I noticed a really pretty mid-century looking tray down on the bottom shelf here and I had to check it out. It was a little pricey at $12, but I loved how it looked and I loved the white and the gold. And then I also noticed this candle holder that was kind of on top of it. It looked like a chain link and I thought it was pretty interesting. It was also $12. I did leave it behind for somebody else, but I thought I would share it with you guys because I thought they were really interesting items. And the last thing that I wanted to share with you before I check out the furniture are these around the world Barbies. These I think are from like the 90s. I remember them when I was growing up. They were still in the boxes and I thought they were a pretty good deal at $10 a piece. So the particular thrift store that I'm in right now always has a really good selection of vintage items and they always keep them separate from the normal thrift items. So I'm actually looking for a mid-century modern style vanity. I've been looking for one for a while. I didn't find it today, but I did come across this gorgeous little mid-century baby buggy. The color on it was amazing. It was this really pretty blue. The top portion of it was a little bit busted up, but not bad at $35.
So since this antique chair is already busted in the middle, it would be a perfect chair to turn into a planter. All you need to do is stick a pot right down in that hole and voila, you have a beautiful antique planter for your home. So this next piece that I want to share with you guys was really interesting because I've never seen anything like it before. It was the size of a little stool, but it had a drawer on it and it was kind of like a little table. So I'm kind of wondering what you would use this for since it was really short and little. So the last item that I wanted to share with you before I show you what I purchased at this particular store was this piece of art that I came across. It looks like it was painted on some sort of velvety type material. I thought it was a really cool piece. I loved the bright colors and it literally looks like he is hauling something. Probably not my haul because as usual it was very small. So when I was checking out the dishware, I spotted these two lonely little vintage green glasses. They were buy one get one free, so I ended up getting both of them for only a dollar. I purchased them to display on my thrifted drink caddy that I got thrifting on vacation back in June. I didn't have enough of the little iridescent teacups to fill out the entire drink caddy, so I thought that adding the green glasses in the back would also add some height to the display as well as go with my whole pink and green thrifted glassware theme that I have going on in my hutch. I also popped into one of my Goodwills this week really briefly. I didn't have a whole lot of time so I thought I would share with you just a few random things that caught my eye on this trip. So I thought this little basket right here was really pretty and then when I looked inside of it I was really surprised to find all of these little wooden apples inside. So I was curious to see how much this cost and I was pleasantly surprised that it was only $5.99. So if you guys don't know this about me, I'm actually a sucker for wall mirrors and this one almost came home with me, but I don't really have a spot for it. So I decided just to go ahead and leave it behind for somebody else that might be looking for a round mirror. So you never know what kind of little random items you will come across at a thrift store. I actually came across this thing right here. It was called a Yoko Miser, and apparently it sucks the egg yolk out of the white part so you can separate them. And as I was leaving to check out, I happened to look in one of the glass display cases and I noticed that even masks have made their way into the thrift store. I saw this little bunch here for $3.99. The only thing that I ended up purchasing today at Goodwill was this Conair blow dryer right here. It was $2.98. It was in pristine condition. It had no lint on the back of the filter. It barely looks like it was even used, if used at all. And of course I tested it out before I left to make sure that it worked. So I happened to go into Walmart one day and I actually noticed that the same exact blow dryer was still being sold in stores and it was $20.94 so I was really happy to get mine for $3. And I also love that it has the retractable cord that goes inside. I actually got this for my daughter Hannah. She needed a blow dryer. We had kind of been sharing the same blow dryer between the two of us so I thought it was about time that she get her own blow dryer and this was the perfect one for her. So that is everything that I found on today's thrifting trip. I hope this video inspires you to go thrifting. You never know what you're going to find. Thank you guys so much for watching and I'll see you guys in the next video.